An 80-year-old man went to his doctor for his annual checkup. The doctor asks him how he's feeling. The 80-year-old says, I've never felt better. I now have a 20-year-old bride who is pregnant with my child. What do you think about that? The doctor considers his question for a minute and then begins. I have an older friend, much like you, who is an avid trophy hunter and never misses a season. One day when he was going out hunting, he was in a bit of a hurry and accidentally picked up his walking cane instead of his gun. When he got to the creek, he saw a prime beaver sitting beside the stream of water. He raised his cane and went bang, bang. Suddenly, two shots rang out and the beaver fell over dead. What do you think of that? The 80-year-old said, I'd say somebody else pumped a couple of rounds into that beaver. The doctor replied, my point exactly. Grandpa told Grandma this joke. A husband leans over to his wife in a bar and says, Do you remember the first time we had sex together over 50 years ago? We went behind this very tavern where you leaned against the back fence and I made love to you. Yes, she says, I remember it well. Okay, he says, how about taking a stroll around there again and we can do it for old time's sake? Oh, Charlie, you old devil, that sounds like a crazy but very good idea, she says. There's a man sitting in the next booth listening to all this and having a chuckle to himself. He thinks, I've got to see these two old-timers having sex against a fence. I'll just keep an eye on them so there's no trouble. So he follows them behind the tavern. The old lady lifts her skirt and the old man drops his trousers. As she leans against the fence, the old man moves in. Suddenly, they erupt into the most furious sex that the man has ever seen. This goes on for about 40 minutes. Finally, they both collapse, panting on the ground. The man is amazed. After about half an hour of lying on the ground recovering, the old couple struggle to their feet and put their clothes back on. As the couple passes the man, he says to them, Excuse me, but that was something else. You must have had a fantastic sex life together. Is there some sort of secret to this? The old man says, Fifty years ago, that wasn't an electric fence. The IRS decides to audit Grandpa and summons him to the IRS office. The IRS auditor was not surprised when Grandpa showed up with his attorney. The auditor said, well, sir, you have an extravagant lifestyle and no full-time employment, which you explain by saying that you win money gambling. I'm not sure the IRS finds that believable. I'm a great gambler and I can prove it, says Grandpa. How about a demonstration? The auditor thinks for a moment and said, okay, go ahead. Grandpa says, I'll bet you a thousand dollars that I can bite my own eye. The auditor thinks a moment and says, it's a bet. Grandpa removes his glass eye and bites it. The auditor's jaw drops. Grandpa says, now I'll bet you $2,000 that I can bite my other eye. Now the auditor can tell Grandpa isn't blind, so he takes the bet. Grandpa removes his dentures and bites his good eye. The stunned auditor now realizes he has wagered and lost three grand, with Grandpa's attorney as a witness. He starts to get nervous. Want to go double or nothing? Grandpa asks, I'll bet you $6,000 that I can stand on one side of your desk and pee into that wastebasket on the other side and never get a drop anywhere in between. The auditor, twice burned, is cautious now, but he looks carefully and decides there's no way this old guy could possibly manage that stunt, so he agrees again. Grandpa stands beside the desk and unzips his pants, but although he strains mightily, he can't make the stream reach the wastebasket on the other side, so he pretty much urinates all over the auditor's desk. The auditor leaps with joy, realizing that he has just turned a major loss into a huge win. But Grandpa's own attorney moans and puts his head in his hands. Are you okay? The auditor asks. Not really, says the attorney. This morning, when Grandpa told me he'd been summoned for an audit, he bet me $50,000 that he could come in here and pee all over your desk and that you'd be happy about it.